Hello, and welcome to Build to Deploy, a technical video series for cloud architects. I'm Cody Brinkman, and I'm an enterprise architect at Oracle Cloud. And I'm thrilled to be here with Rob Hill, Chief Architect and Application Engineer at VizSeq. And today we're here to talk about how Rob and his team help industrial product manufacturers find and manage complex parts and component configurations using VizSeq's AI-powered visual search platform. Rob, good to see you again. Good to see you too, Cody. Now I know visual search, instead of using keywords, um, you can use 3D images, 3D renderings, you know, pictures to, to search for products and, and things like that. So can you first walk us through um, how you've deployed this architecture on OCI? As you can see from our architecture diagram, our customers, they access the VCN through a secured web uh, browser. It passes through the Oracle uh, web application firewall. And we have also configured this as an additional firewall using security list within OCI and a built-in uh, Oracle Cloud Guard. So for our developers, they can access it using uh, through a VPN. But once our customers get through the firewall, they are then passed on to the front end web servers. And typically our customers are large companies. They have lots of files, sometimes in the tens of millions uh, of CAD drawings, 3D models, documentation, and it's difficult to find things. But when they do want to find it, they want to be able to find it quickly and typically have many users accessing the platform at the same time. So we've configured the two Windows Server VMs to run through a front end uh, load balancer, which is located in different availability domains. This configuration provides our customers with high availability, which is important, uh, so they can have a, a great experience uh, searching for their files. Uh, once they're authenticated, the front end sends user requests to the database systems, uh, in addition to using OCI's MySQL, uh, database service with a high availability option, we use three clustered Redis databases and each of them paired with a Gluster FS uh, system. So with each pair sitting in its own domain, it also um, provides the robust uh, availability that's needed. But in each of the three ADs, there is a, a single VM. So the search criteria is then indexed on two back-end load-balanced Linux servers that run our proprietary indexing software. The front end also communicates with two Linux searching servers located on different ADs and two Linux indexing servers on also on different ADs. Both the searching server cluster and the indexing server cluster are also configured to use a load balancer. These servers communicate with the database systems, but also communicate with the two NVIDIA V100 uh, GPU load balance servers, each sitting on their own VM in a separate AD. We use these GPU servers for, uh, we use TensorFlow and PyTorch to help extract product information, metadata from PDFs, 2D drawings, uh, images, other types of files, but then the information then classified to, into searchable digital assets. In addition, we have also set up strict identity and access management policies. We also use OCI's health checks, monitoring, logging, and uh, auditing to track the environment. To wrap up the architecture, we have also set up an SFTP file exchange server using block storage to allow our customers to securely transfer large amounts of data for certain situations. You touched on them a little bit, but can you walk through them in a little bit more detail and describe why you need two different backend flows? Sure. So the reason for that is we have two different work, work basically workflows. We have one for when the customer initially does the indexing of their data. It's an automated process, but it goes through, we upload the data through um, a desktop app and calling our APIs and then it actually goes to the indexing servers, touching on the GPU servers, indexes all their data. The other workflow is when a, when a user comes into to, to the platform and wants to do a search. They have a file, they have a drawing, or they have a 3D model or an image, and they want to upload that uh, as a search input to find things in the database. When they do that, it goes through our searching servers. Our software is a visual search engine, right? I mean, people, we, they expect 
expect it to be fast. They expect it to be reliable. Uh, when you're looking for things, that's kind of the standard is that you want to be able to return things back quickly. And also, we need to be able to scale for our customers and, and it be secure. So with this type of architecture, it really meets those requirements. We're able to debug and, and scale without any era interruption um, by keeping the front end, back end, and database all separate. So in fact, after migrating our search platform to OCI, we've actually seen a performance increase close to 50%, which is just awesome for our customers. And one last question, you're just getting started uh, with the cloud, with OCI. Um, what are the future plans? What are you going to be working towards here in the next uh, coming months? Um, well, one thing that we're really excited about is the interconnect between the Oracle Cloud and the Microsoft Azure Cloud. And the reason for this is we have customers that actually we're talking to right now that have their workflows set up on Microsoft. And we were looking for a seamless way to, uh, you know, to connect with their data. This provides that platform to be able to do that and uh, for, to get the speed and everything that we're needing um, from that. In addition to our customers will be able to take advantage of the support from both OCI and Microsoft Azure. So we're looking forward to exploring this option. We have not implemented it yet, implemented it yet but I think it's gonna be a powerful uh, tool for us. And that's been built and deployed. We really hope uh, you enjoyed it and learned um, hopefully a couple of things. And make sure to stay tuned for more technical videos with OCI customers. Thanks.